Not a day goes by that we don't hear about new crime statistics from across the Twin Cities, and the capital city is no exception. St. Paul police say gun violence in the city is up 6% from last year to this year. It's a lot of work to be done, but that's what we signed up for. But the one bit of good news is that homicides are actually down from last year by 23%. I mean, crime is going down in these areas. That's the whole mission. A change that can be partially attributed to community leaders like Pastor Ronnie Patterson, organizer of the city's 21 Days of Peace campaign. I've always felt like my calling was not just inside of the building, but outside of the building. Outside the building. Tell me, tell me about your day. Did you help anybody out? Yeah, I did. This divine assignment goes beyond simply standing on a street corner. It's about reaching the needs of people on an individual basis. Their physical needs, their materialistic needs, their mental needs. Getting to the root of the issues plaguing the city streets. We're coming to people that need a rental assistance just needed food. So you would say that the solution to curbing violence, it's a all hands on deck approach involving police and community. That's the only way it's gonna work. But on this side of the river, we've had an awesome relationship with the St. Paul Police Department. Everywhere we have shown up, we have gotten reports from the police department, store owners, and even the uh, citizens that live in those areas how crime has gone down. A new approach to policing. When we learn better, we do better. Offering hope for safer streets. If we don't get control, it's not going to be good 10 years from now. In St. Paul, Devon Roming, Care 11 News.